Ever since I got this play button by doing all the work myself, I wondered, could you build a channel using Fiverr gigs only? Let's find out together. Six months ago, I was ordering a YouTube thumbnail on Fiverr and I had a random thought. What if I could make an entire YouTube channel using only Fiverr gigs? I'm talking about creating the channel, coming up with content ideas, creating the outlines, voiceovers, videos, descriptions, thumbnails, the SEO, everything. So we ran an experiment with four videos, creating a brand new YouTube channel, and then we released a I like the thought of this so far. This is gonna be great. Video showing how we did. You can watch that video right here if you've not watched it yet. We let the channel sit for a few months, but it actually continued to get views every single day, and we decided it was time to see if we could really make this channel work. A channel built solely using Fiverr. I mean, it can definitely work because basically it is just a concept of YouTube automation. The only issue I always have myself with Fiverr is that I'm not sure if I should trust the people behind the gig because they can also sell what you're buying directly to someone else. And because you're directly buying it from them instead of you giving them instructions on what exactly to do, it, in my opinion, is kind of tricky. But let's find out if he managed to do it. Gigs. I'm gonna show you how to get this done. We're gonna dive in here and we're gonna see where that channel's at right now. And then we're gonna do an experiment and see if we can continue running this channel using solely Fiverr gigs. First off, you can see on the screen right here, these are the four videos that we released that were built on. Interesting, so he's not monetized yet, which is totally fine. You can see some videos do have a couple thousand views. So let's see if he's close to that monetization at all or not. Fiverr, and you can see here, total views are pretty good for a brand new YouTube channel, especially one without any real personality. You can see one video did especially good and is continuing to do good, and that was the- That is nice. I mean, that spike right there kind of seems fake, although that could just be browse traffic getting pushed and then at some point just stopping. However, these stats are pretty decent. No degree, no problem video. You can see right here, it got very steady views and it actually started to take off right about here and do even better. And it's getting about 20 to 30 views every single day. You can see it's brought in plenty of subscribers in the last 30 days as well. And it's doing really, really well for a Fiverr gig video, which is just built on B-roll. But the other video- Yeah, this one is kind of dead to be honest. I mean, one view lasts 40 hours, that is not great. And once again, you kind of have that weird spike. I'm not sure if he bought views on this or not, but it does seem like it. Views as well, you can see right here, every single day, the video's getting some views. Yeah, he must have bought views or some sort of watch time thing because every single video has that spike and then it just stops which is not very natural. Same thing right here. You can see views coming in every single day. And of course this video, same thing, views coming in every day. Now each one of these videos was done using voiceovers and B-roll. So it was just a voice talking that we ordered on Fiverr and then an editor added a bunch of random B-roll to these. <laughs> What's going on here guys? What's going on? This experiment part two, we wanted to see if maybe a different type of video that Fiverr could build would be a better fit for a channel like this. So we decided we were going to try whiteboard videos. Now the reason we tried whiteboard videos is I actually had a channel about three or four years ago where I put one whiteboard video on the Let's go, $2,000. YouTube search traffic, I love that. 267K views, what makes stock prices move up? That is awesome. You can make some tutorial videos in the whiteboard format and get these results. That is awesome to see. And it was the second highest performing video ever to hit that channel. So it seemed like a good idea to me at that point. So once again, we decided to start with content ideas and we actually used- I mean, this is always funny to me, like the titles on these Fiverr gigs and then their price. So this is, I will do best in-depth YouTube keyword research. Great. Providing low competitive with high search volume, 15 keywords with CPC report for $5. I mean, the thing is, I rate these guys, right? They're on the grind, no worries at all. The problem is they're probably just gonna get some keyword software like vidIQ or TubeBuddy, paste in some keyword, extract the results, and then deliver that as the keyword research, and they don't really do the research. They just download some keywords. But let's find out if I'm wrong or right there. He's the same guy we used before because he did such a good job. Also, why did I say wrong or right instead of right or wrong? I don't know. Like, who does that? He's got a lot of good reviews and he was able to give us a bunch of new video ideas that we could build videos around. And for 10 bucks, we use this gig right here for writing the actual scripts for our YouTube. 600 up to 900 word for 10 bucks. That is a pretty decent price. We made sure that they understood that we were going to do whiteboard videos. And uh, honestly, it was a really good deal. Typically writers that I find online are very, very hard to get to understand and write good content. 
but uh, this writer did really well for us the first time, so we hired from them one more time. They wrote each script for $10, and each script was a And they've got unlimited revisions as well, so if it's not good, you can simply ask them to do it again, which is pretty decent. So this gig seems to be very good. Just 600 word. Now, voiceovers is where it actually started to get really, really tough. If you just type in voiceover in the top of Fiverr and then start to click on some of those top sellers right there, you'll see that the, the rates are- Yeah, I mean, this is just crazy. Don't do any of this, guys. Just go to Upwork, put out a job post, just tell them it's going to be $10 for X amount of words and just see if people agree or not. You'll find that a lot of people just agree and the voices they have are pretty decent. It takes you some time maybe to find them, but it definitely does work. And it's much cheaper than Fiverr if you were to just buy them from here directly. They're almost unaffordable for what we're trying to do here. 100 words for about 20 bucks, which means that our five or even 600 word video is good. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. I mean, if the voice is very good, that these prices could make sense. The thing is, you don't need a crazy voice because it's not gonna make a lot of difference. As long as it's decent, good quality, then you'll be fine. It'd be about $120 just for the voiceover, and that's not even for the video editing or any of the other pieces of the video. But there's something really good about voiceovers. It's that you can actually see what the person is going to give you pretty much exactly beforehand. So that meant that we could do some sellers that may not have as many orders or as many good reviews because we're able to see exactly what they're going to deliver ahead of time. <laughs> That's what you need on YouTube, man. So we did some sorting in the seller level. Instead of choosing a top rated seller, we allowed level one and two sellers to get involved. We changed our budget right here to actually $5 and then we applied. Yeah, there you go. I mean, $5, let's see if you can find a good one. I'm not sure, but. Nice. Next, we had to do a little more work and we had to actually start clicking on each of these. After clicking on three or four, we ran across a profile like this and you can see we were able to get 200 words for $5. We were also able to listen to the exact voice that we were gonna get ahead of time and be sure that we felt good about it. Let's have a listen. Shoes and messes. You need weather tech. Our custom floor liners keep it all away from your vehicle's floor. I can- That is awesome. The thing is, and beware guys, I feel like a lot of people will try and get you to buy a text-to-speech software. I'm not sure about this voice. It does sound good. In some sort of way, it still sounds like a robot kind of voice to me, but could be me. In the end, what we had to do is find a lot of uh, people with decent reviews, and we reached out to them individually and asked if they would be able to do our video for $100, and finally someone agreed to that. After ordering three videos, we learned on the fourth one that you can actually order some gigs that come with a video and the voiceover, and we could have combined those costs into one, but that's okay. We were pretty happy with what we got, and we were able to stay fairly close to the budget that we used in the original experiment. I mean, these videos are gonna add up in terms of pricing, though. If they're gonna be $100 just for the whiteboard stuff, plus the additional script writing, voiceover, and thumbnail, it's gonna equate to quite a decent amount for just a video. And so the total cost for all four videos came out just under $500 or an average of about $120 per video. After ordering all the- I see, I mean, if there are eight minute videos and they're good quality, it's a decent price. However, it's not super beginner friendly, I would say. If you're just starting out, don't spend 120 on a video. If you don't have the budget, just go at like 50, $60 range. You can upload twice as much and then you can get going from there. Videos, we found a really cool Fiverr gig that actually lets you order five videos worth of descriptions and tags. We didn't have to do any of that, and the total cost was only five more dollars. It took a- Yeah, I mean, that's great, but once again, the thing is, I'm just very concerned about the quality level for just five dollars, and you get five videos of like SEO and this and that. Like, how could it be? It can only be so good, I would First video to come in, and as soon as we got it, we uploaded the video, and then went to bed. Yeah, it's definitely a different day. He did definitely not just walk out, went into another room, grabbed another shirt, and then just came back. Definitely not. Congratulations, you played yourself. We got in the next morning and the results were actually pretty good. We had 15 views since we published, but we don't have that many subscribers and honestly, none of our subscribers really know who we are. And you can see that since that moment, this video continued to get quite a bit of views, about 15 views every single day until it finally started to peter out in about mid-April. Maybe something to do with those stimulus checks. <laughs> Good old times. Now, this gave us enough confidence that we finally released all three of the other videos one by one, day after day, for the next four days. And we're gonna hop on here and talk about what happened. Now, you can see right here, our original video, the Job Interview Secrets video, did very, very well. It took off from the beginning, getting about 15 views a day, and it continued to get that 15 views until it's- I mean, to be honest, this is not bad. For a beginner channel, this is definitely not bad. If you can hit a video like this every single upload, and you just continue to upload, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get more traffic than he does, because what he does, he uploads videos, 
videos, but then he stops uploading videos, which is kind of what you should not do. Yes, you can still get YouTube search traffic and then the video could take off, but if you're trying to build an active channel and you're trying to get views from recommended and all this, this is definitely not the right way to do it because he uploads videos, gets some results, but then he stops uploading, which is not gonna benefit his results. April. But that was by far our best video. I think a lot of that was due to the thumbnail and the title that they created for that specific video. You can see seven job interview questions and the perfect answers, and it's a pretty good thumbnail. It's very simple and eye-catching. Anyway, after putting out that video, getting a total of about 600 views, the other three videos only got 40, 30, and 47 views consecutively. And so it looks like B-roll videos can work, whiteboard videos can work. Any kind of video works. As long as there is demand that the video quality is good, it works. So the formats usually always work. However, it's more so about the video topic and then uploading consistently on what works and double down. Look like either one of them is necessarily the number one way to go. Overall, the channel has about 52 subscribers. It's getting about 10 new subscribers every single month. And you can see it's getting about 630 views per month. Honestly, the subscriber rate is a little down on this channel from any of my other channels. And I think that that's because creating a YouTube channel is a little different than creating an audience. And you're not going to get a lot of subscribers on videos like this because they're not getting any connection with you as a person. And yeah, I agree there. A lot of people will subscribe faster with creators, so personal people, rather than just these like YouTube automation channels, but you can still get a lot of subscribers. I've got channels with 300,000 subscribers, 40,000, 60,000. It doesn't really matter as much, but he's right about the rate. You'll probably get more subscribers per 1,000 views on a personal channel than a YouTube automation channel. Hopefully they're not getting that much of a connection with the guy on the whiteboard video. So now we are eight videos into this Fiverr Gig YouTube channel. We're gonna do around three. We're just not quite sure when. Let us know if you've got any good ideas for how we can do experiments on that channel. Honestly, I consider this channel all of your channel and we can all make this together. All right, let me know if you think I should watch that third part as well. And if you missed part one, check out the video right there about how we built an entire YouTube channel using Fiverr only.